Hey y'all, notice I am no longer wearing braces. If you are interested in hearing about my adult braces journey and some do's and don'ts or maybe some things that you should know if you are a woman of a particular age or even a man of a particular age and you're interested in getting adult braces, please listen and stay tuned. I got braces four years ago in October of 2016. I got my braces off October of 2020. Here's my teeth. Please don't mind <laughs> the lipstick. So here is what my teeth look like. And I had a huge gap in the center of my teeth. And I also had, um, you know, this one tooth was kind of like a little crooked and kind of like was a little bit longer than the rest of my teeth. My concern was fixing that gap. And if you look closely, you can see that that gap is coming back already. And I'm just not happy. I'm not satisfied. So I did get braces when I was in high school. I had a huge gap in between my teeth. And the place that I went to was here in Youngstown. The orthodontist office here in Youngstown, where I got my first set of braces, was called Dr. D'Angelo and Dr. Sinofani, orthodontist associates. I think that's what their name was. And they were awesome. They did such a great job on my teeth to the point that when my oldest daughter had to get braces, that's where she went. So the first time she got braces, she too went to Dr. D'Angelo and Dr. Sinefani. The problem with her, when she got her retainer, she actually accidentally threw away her bottom retainer. And I believe her top retainer broke. That's the same thing that happened with me. As time went on, my teeth really started to separate. And I think I had two top retainers. And for the bottom, my retainer was permanently attached to my bottom teeth. And at the top, I had a retainer that was permanently attached to my four front teeth. Well, again, my teeth were moving so much that the retainer on my top teeth actually broke. So I actually had a wire in the back of my teeth that had to get cut off because it was kind of like hanging. And as years went by, the gap was slowly, slowly, slowly coming back. As time went on, I was having some problems with my wisdom teeth. Now, I was fortunate to only have two wisdom teeth instead of four wisdom teeth. I got those two wisdom teeth removed. Let me go ahead and get braces again. But I was living in Akron, so I decided to go to an orthodontist in Akron instead of going to an orthodontist here in Youngstown. There's an orthodontist in the Akron area that is low cost. It's very reasonable. I think we need to maybe do a little bit more research when we're looking at orthodontists because I was just not happy with the treatment that I received the second time around. As adults, our gums are receding and they're not the same as when we're younger. So for each tooth, I had spaces at the top and, I, and they looked like little triangles at the top because of my gums. And this is very common for adults to have and they're actually called I think it's air pockets or whatever they're called whatever they're called I'm going to make sure that I put the name because I think it's very important that if you are an adult and you are considering getting braces you need to know that this may happen to you having the little spaces between each teeth right by your gum line and I had that also for my bottom teeth as well and that was something that my orthodontist never discussed with me. Each time when I went to the orthodontist, there was new staff. You, you know, just so many red flags that you can't even keep staff. It wasn't modern. 
where here in Youngstown, Dr. D'Angelo and Sonofani had such modern equipment and it was the same staff. There, they didn't even have the little bowl that you kind of like spit into when you're, you know, they're digging in your mouth. Like you didn't have that. You had one sink. It, it just was bad. It was bad. There were so many red flags. When I had my braces the first time, I never had any brackets fall off. Never. Not one time did a bracket fall off. Here, brackets fell off all the time. Constantly. You know, things can break. But there's, it's just unacceptable that half of my brackets are gone on my bottom teeth. So every time you go, they got to put the brackets back on. Then they fall off again. Then they got to put them back on. Then they fall off. That's not the way that you should have braces. Meanwhile, my oldest daughter, now she's, you know, almost 30. She decides to get braces again because she is noticing that her teeth were shifting. And she was smart enough to go back to the orthodontist here in Youngstown. And she only had her braces, I think, for half of a year. And I had mine on before her. She got hers off before me. Her fiancé also got braces on. He got his taken off before me. So I got mine on first, and I literally was the last one to get mine off. Her teeth look beautiful. His teeth look beautiful. And I will admit, my teeth look beautiful as well. But just to get to this point was just not a good experience. And to see how fast my gaps are coming back again, it's just ridiculous. I wear my retainers all the time, except when I'm eating. And I don't have them on right now for the purpose of this video. So this is what my retainers look like. They look like Invisalign. And I keep them in a dentures case. I actually clean them every day. I use these denture cleaning tabs that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. These were only a dollar. And I also use a toothbrush and I actually brush them because again, I keep them on all the time because I don't want my gaps to come back. So the main points that I want all adults to know if you are considering getting adult metal braces, I can't give you any information on Invisalign because that's not the braces that I had. I had the old-fashioned metal braces. If that's what you're interested in, just kind of look up the air pockets, the situation where your gums kind of recede and there's like literally little triangles, little spaces in between your teeth and your gums. You really need to look at that and you need to do your research on that. I also think you need to research orthodontists in your area. Don't just go to the one that's inexpensive. Go to one that's actually good, that's reputable. There's so many bad reviews for this orthodontist and I didn't even look that up. The information was there. So make sure you look at reviews. If you notice that the products or the utensils or the tools that they use don't look anything like the tools that your dentist is using, leave immediately. You should at least have that bowl so that you can spit in. <laughs> it was just, it's such an old fashioned, dirty looking place. There wasn't even any, and we're, we're in a pandemic right now. We're in a pandemic. There wasn't any soap in the bathroom to wash my hands. And when I brought that to the receptionist's attention, she said that someone stole the soap. So you knew that someone stole the soap and you never replaced the soap in the bathroom. What am I supposed to wash my hands with? Like, we're in a pandemic. Hello? Like, are you not comprehending that we need to wash our hands for 20 seconds right now? And I think you need to ask, hey, how long am I going to have these? I had to ask them to remove my braces. I asked. They weren't going to remove them. I had to sign a paper saying that, you know, my orthodontist, my orthodontic treatment was not complete and that I wasn't going to hold him responsible or whatever. It's been four years. I just want to share that with you all. 
I'm going to go ahead and rinse my retainers off and put them back in my mouth so that you can see what they actually look like when they're in and how my speech kind of sounds when I'm speaking with the retainers in my mouth. Because I think that's another thing you need to consider if you're doing, you know, public speaking engagements or if you're a little self-conscious about the way that you speak. I think that that's something that you need to think about because if you get these types of retainers, the retainers that I was given, your speech is going to sound a little wonky. Let me go ahead and rinse these off and I will be right back. All right, so I did rinse these off. So let me go ahead and put them in. Okay, so they're in. I don't know if you can hear a difference in my speech, but I certainly can hear a difference in my speech when I have these on. I had to do several presentations at work and I was not wearing my retainers. And then when I did put the retainers on, I did notice that they felt a little tighter. But other than that, um, I don't notice anything because I keep these on pretty much all day, all night. I sleep with them. I only take them off when I'm eating. I can even drink hot tea with these on. And I drink my CMOS with these on as well. And I really haven't had any problems with the retainers on. But um, this is what they look like. And, um, you know, my, my bite isn't perfect. But it'll do. And I get my teeth cleaned next month in January by my dentist. That is my story regarding my adult orthodontia treatment. If you have any other questions for me, please go ahead and leave them down below in the comment section. Give me a thumbs up on this video and of course subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.